Hello, everyone. Happy Friday, this day, June 5th, 2020. Let me know if you could hear me okay. If you want to mute your mic and say hello. Hello. Hi, teacher. Hello, 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 Lizette, Carol, Paulina, uh, Marifer, hello, Oralis, y Paulo. All right, guys, today what I'd like to do, we're going to conclude yesterday's activity. Uh, we're going to finish this week uh, focusing on social inequality. And today we're going to take the paragraphs that we developed. We looked at our uh, our videos, we might have looked at some websites to get some answers to the questions that we were including in our wikis, and then we developed a paragraph. Today, what I'd like to do is to consolidate all of the paragraphs, and we're going to consolidate them. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. And in Microsoft Teams, under Files, Week 15, and a Word document called Social Inequality. This is where we're going to work today. I'm going to go ahead and edit or open this up into the browser, and you'll see the work, some of the work from Prope A from this morning. So I'm going to read over the instructions, but I have all of the instructions written out here. So try to pay close attention to what we're going to do here. I tried to be uh, clear uh, at the top of the document in the instructions. So for this final activity this week, we're going to host each of the paragraphs on social inequality here in this document. So I would like for you to copy and paste whatever paragraph that you currently have in your individual wiki and move it over to this document. All right. I would like for you to also leave your name, just your first name, after the paragraph in parentheses. And then, if you notice here by example, many of them have included a hyperlink to the video where they, uh, where they, the video that they are using to reference their paragraph. So if I click on this link, this should take me to the video. Now, how do you create a hyperlink? Okay, you can select your name, go into insert link, and copy and paste the URL to the video here in this space. And click insert, and that will insert the, the link. You'll notice here there's the short link. I would recommend that, not the URL that appears in your browser, but there's an actually there's an actual share link just below the video in YouTube. That's the link I would prefer that you use. And you can just copy and paste that again into your own name and create a hyperlink. Once you've done that, once you've done that, then the next step here is to uh, open up the discussions. All right, now I, I presented these same instructions to Prope A, and if you go back and listen to their recording, uh, nobody took advantage of this next part. So I hope that you guys will. Here's the next piece of this, all right? So you'll notice from the work from this morning that the information here is divided into subheadings. So you'll notice that we have a subheading called wealth distribution, and then, and this is a level two. Let me go up here to styles. You'll notice it's a level two, it's a heading two. And then each paragraph has the title of the paragraph. So remember, we had a title that we included in our wiki. You can bring over the title as well. And under styles, select heading three. So we're going to have a heading two, which is going to be the main subheading. And then our paragraphs with our headings, with our title, will, will be grouped under certain subheadings. So the subheadings is what I would like for you guys to come up with. Now, because you guys are um, doing this activity after Prope A, all right, you're going to have already some subheadings that may apply to your paragraph. So if you have a paragraph that 
for example, relates to wealth distribution, then you can include it underneath underneath this uh, subheading. Now you can decide on even which order that you would like to present. You can look at you know the rest of the paragraphs within this section, and then you can decide where you would like to insert your own uh, paragraph. Okay, so here's another one: healthcare. Right? If if you have a, a topic related to healthcare, then go ahead and and use the same subheading, and again decide where you would like to include the paragraph. Now let's say that you have a paragraph of a topic that is not represented currently in this document, then feel free to add the subheading, making sure that under styles you've chosen heading number two. Heading number two again is for a subheading. Heading number three is for the title of each of our paragraphs. Okay, so again, just select your text and then select the appropriate style for your, for your font. Now, speaking of fonts, Please make sure, and I'm also doing this. I had some cases where I had to go in and help a few uh, students because uh, trying to change the fonts. When you copy and paste, it's likely that the fonts will change. I would like to keep all fonts as Calibri, body, font size 11. Okay, so if your text changes, then go ahead and select the text and try to uh, change it back to Carib uh, Calibri body font size 11. And obviously we want black text. Um, again, I can help you if you have some questions or problems or issues in trying to uh, change the fonts. Uh, one student in particular this morning had some problems with it. So just let me know and I'll, I'll try to help you with uh, the fonts. But we want to try to maintain some consistency in the headings and the font with uh, between each of the paragraphs. And again, you guys decide, use the, the, live, um, the live meeting today, unmute your microphone and discuss. Feel free to discuss any of the organizational uh, patterns here that we have. If you guys decide, in fact, uh, to instead of uh, maybe starting off with wealth distribution, you wanna start off with education, Right. Talk about it and decide as a group how you would like to organize. So you guys are coming in kind of in the middle of this, but you can make the last decision about the order, the, the ultimate order of each of the sections or subheadings and in determining how you want the the paragraphs in which order you would like to present the paragraphs. So again, I think it's easier and I encourage all of you to try to use the live feature to talk about it try to reach a, de a decision, right, to do it. This morning, nobody took took uh, took me up on, on this activity. No one discussed it live, right? They just kind of moved and, and, and manipulated, unless they were talking somewhere else, which is, I guess, possible. Maybe they were all chatting on Facebook or something. I don't know. But, you know, it, it would be nice to hear your uh, comments and suggestions and how you're working together in, in the live uh, the live meeting here. Okay, so take advantage of the meeting. Unmute your mic. You don't have to turn on the video if you don't want to. If you do, that's great, all right? But talk amongst yourselves after you brought in all your, your paragraphs. I would do that first. And then look at the whole and decide how, again, how you want to organize both the sections and also the paragraphs within the sections. You know, maybe there's some logical order in each of these uh, paragraphs, for example, that relate to education. Okay, and so you can talk about that and decide as a group uh, how you would like to do it. All right, so any questions about today's activity? One thing I will mention, guys, is I would uh, make sure that the margins uh, don't worry about indentation. So use a block style method, much like this example that I've highlighted. OK, so you can just keep everything to the left. It looks like this particular paragraph needs to be brought over just a bit. Right. But just um, use the normal margins with no indentation. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and mute my mic and camera. If you guys have questions, jump in. Otherwise, talk amongst yourselves after you brought in the, the paragraphs. Don't spend a lot of time right now 
changing the, the paragraph. Let's try to decide, work together and decide on the order. And then uh, we'll, we'll look at, you know, if there's time today or maybe in the next class, we can look at uh, the specifics to the grammar and, and giving you some feedback on the specific uh, specifics of the of the text. But for right now, we just want to get an idea about overall organization and try to uh, merge both Prope A and Prope B's paragraphs uh, on um, social inequality and try to, again, organize it in an orderly fashion. So jump in with your questions if you have any, and um, I'll be here if you have some uh, doubts. Ben, I have a question. Yes, go ahead. Go ahead, uh, Wendy. Um, in Aula Virtual, you like you gave us like the um, the subtopics, and one of those topics is socially excluded, but um, there's a point in there that is civil unrest. So the, the topic that should be like with heading number two is mm -hmm. socially excluded, but then what do I do with civil unrest and then the, the title of my paragraph? Both okay, so I think the headings, I want to leave it up to you. I mean, I can, um, you, I would rather you work it out however you, you want. Okay. So there, there are different ways that you can, that you can decide to do it. You have a title for your paragraph. So you decide, you know, what category would fit uh, within your, you know, for your paragraph. And maybe there's some other paragraphs that, you know, that would, that relate that would fall under this umbrella of, but I, again, I would rather that you guys talk about it and decide instead of me just telling you what to do. Okay. Okay. All right. Hey everyone, um, my suggestion for the order, I would say is that first we should put um, race, ethnic inequality. I believe this is the main uh, concern. I would say that after race inequality, we should choose either socially excluded or gender inequality. But in my opinion, we should like leave at the end wealth distribution. But I don't know, what do you guys think? Well, I, I personally agree with you and Oscar.
So, Mon, you are working with race inequality? Yes, I am. Okay, uh, who else is working with race and ethnic inequalities in the group? Well, I just moved the paragraph made by Fernanda to the end of the document. So now race and ethnic will be first. And then I would say we should put healthcare or food because I believe those are like the basic um, necessities. Mon, don't you have a title for your paragraph? Oh, uh, yes, just that I forgot to copy and paste it. Okay. <laughs> Carol, I guess your paragraph should be almost at the top of the word file because it's uh, about race or ethnic inequality. Okay, thank you. Carol, um, is your paragraph about education inequality? Yes. Oh yeah, then you should like place it almost at the top of the word file. There is like the, the topic. Uh, race inequality and then is there is another like subtopic that is called education and you should place your paragraph there thank you wendy you're welcome All right, guys, we're getting close to the end here of today's activity. Uh, if you guys need more time to make your final changes, feel free to do so. Um, our next class, I want to spend more time with giving feedback, and we'll focus on whatever the end result, whatever you guys finally decide on, on the organization today. Then we'll look at it again in next class and we'll focus a little bit more on grammar, punctuation, capitalization, punctuation. All right. But I really liked how you guys are participated uh, and ask, made suggestions. Um, you, uh, many of you responded. Here's the thing one thing that I would suggest, and again, uh, I was hoping Prope A would 
participate. They decided not to, and that's fine. But I liked how you guys uh, jumped right in and make, made some suggestions. But here's one thing to keep in mind, and I know this is an online platform, and maybe there were some cases where some of you were not able to maybe activate your mic, or maybe there's a lot of background noise, et cetera. But uh, one of the things to think about and keep in mind, because I think when we're face-to-face, -face, we, we look at it a little bit differently. When somebody asks a question and nobody answers, Imagine if you were in a table, sitting around a table, looking at each other face to face and somebody asks a question and let's say there were 10 people and two people answered, right? Whether they agree or disagree. And it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you, if you ask a question or you make a suggestion and, and somebody agrees or disagrees, they agree or disagree because they're showing that they care about the question they care about the thing that is being discussed right and although i know this is not the intention in this case when you don't reply because i'm assuming everybody cares about the the assignment that when you don't reply you're giving off the message that you don't care right it's like silence it's like this is the kiss of death when someone asks a question because you don't know well do they either not understand the question or do they not care enough to respond so keep that in mind whenever you're answering. It doesn't matter, let's say you have 10 people, three people agree, and everybody else, let's say they agree, they, they may think, well, why bother? I'm, everybody, the, three, the other three mentioned, they, they're speaking on behalf of us. It's common courtesy to jump in and say, oh, me too, I agree. Or if you disagree, and let's say everybody else agrees and you're the only one that disagrees, you might be thinking, wow, I'm not going to... I'm not going to disagree because I'm going to be the odd man out, as they say. I'm going to be the the one exception to to everyone's uh, you know beliefs or 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 decisions. But it's perfectly fine to say, you know what, I disagree. I I would I think this way, but but whatever the group decides, right? In the in the sense that okay, it's going to be a consensus if most people decide on one thing, and the whole group will decide to do that. But at least you're stating your opinion, right? And you're stating your voice. And in stating your voice, even if you are disagreeing, you're showing that you care, right? So just keep that in mind, especially with online platforms. It's a lot, it's really easy to kind of hide behind the technology. And, and uh, you know, I encourage you to participate more, especially with on these online platforms. And um, when you have opportunities to work together, you guys really did a good job today. Uh, and... You know, thumbs up to those leaders who jumped in and participated and, you know, politeness and all of that. So that was that was good. So just keep that in mind. And again, uh, good job and your participation uh, today. Next class, guys, we're going to look at our paragraphs. We're going to look more specifically at the grammar. But I wanted to have a final document, one uh, document that included all of the paragraphs from, from bro both propes and... I was curious how you guys worked together in deciding on not only how the you would organize the paragraphs, but also the sections and how you would even name the sections. Okay. So I think we'll stop there for today, guys. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Be safe. And uh, we'll see you on Monday. Thank you. See you. Thank see you. you. Bye. Thank you Bye. Bye.